Sleep has a very big influence on health and is the most important resting activity in maintaining a healthy lifestyle. While sleeping, the body naturally repairs damaged cells, produces hormones, and carries out the growth process. Sleep has many patterns, and it turns out that the Prophet Muhammad's sleep pattern is the healthiest way to sleep and has been recognized by various health experts. One of them is turning off the lights while sleeping. Why? Let's find out. Prophet Muhammad's habits before going to sleep. 1. Wudu before going to bed. Rasulullah saw said when you are going to sleep, then do wudu like wudu for prayer. Wudu before bed can also be interpreted as cleaning oneself, cleaning the skin from germs and dirt, relaxing the muscles of the body so that sleep will be more sound. To turn off the lights. Turning off the lights before bed is one of the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad. In the hadith narrated by Bukhari, the Prophet Muhammad saw said, turn off the lights at night when you sleep at night, lock the door and close the vessel, food, and drink. It turns out that turning off the lights during sleep is beneficial for the health of the body. A study conducted by biologist Joan Robert shows that the body can only produce the hormone melatonin when there is no light. The hormone melatonin is produced by the pineal gland and, among others, functions to regulate sleep rhythm, increase immunity, maintain heart health, inhibit cholesterol increase, and function as an anti-cancer. We can see a serious impact in the journal Cancer Genetics and Cytogenetics. The paper reviews if lighting using artificial light will have an impact on the body's biological clock and can trigger the overexpression of cells that are associated with the formation of cancer cells. Likewise with research from the Society for Neuroscience, in San Diego in 2010. The findings shed light on the correlation between lighting and depression levels. Night shift workers and other people who are constantly exposed to light at night are at increased risk of mood disorders or depression. All the research of Western scientists is certainly a reinforcement of the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad about the command to sleep in the dark. Turn off the lights when going to sleep, close the door, close the vessels and close the food and drinks. According to several researchers at Stanford University in California, the United States, the light that is lit during sleep can affect hormones in the body, interfere with eye health and even risk increasing the growth of cancer cells in the body. Reporting to Vemily, there is a surprising fact that women who sleep with lights on can have a higher risk of breast cancer than those who choose dark or use dim light while sleeping. Three sleeping position on his right side. If we don't have a light partner, then in accordance with the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, the recommended sleeping position is tilted to the right. Then what if the husband sleeps with his wife according to the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad? Reporting from the page. Ustaza Aydin Nurlila, the author of the book series Material of Awareness in a talk show entitled Reaching for Heaven with Family, explains how the recommended good sleeping position for married couples is in accordance with the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad. The sleeping position of the husband and wife is in accordance with the Sunnah of the Prophet, the husband and wife remain tilted to the right. The wife is in front, the husband is behind her hugging his wife. So both of them can sleep on their side to the right, he said. Based on a study conducted in 2003 and published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology published in the New York Times on February 21, 2011. Sleeping on your right side is safer than on your left side. Sleeping on your right side can reduce the risk of heart failure. Because, when the body position is tilted to the right, it makes the heart that is on the left side not crushed by other organs. In H.R. al-Bukhari No. 247 and Muslim No. 2710, Prophet Muhammad saw said to lie on your right rib. 
In ancient times, people may have thought that Islam prioritized the right over the left, so this suggestion refers to that virtue. However, it turned out that this prophet's command had such amazing medical effects. Scientists find these benefits today, even though the prophet had known them since 1400 years ago. For do not sleep on your stomach. Rasulullah saw forbade his followers to sleep on their stomachs. The prohibition emerged from the story of Yayazi bin Thikfa al Gifari. On one occasion he told me, my father told me that when I slept in the mosque on my stomach, suddenly someone moved my feet and said, truly the sleep is angry with Allah. My father said, after me seeing that he was Rasulullah saw, HR. Thaverni. Sleeping on his stomach, said Imam Tirmidhi, bringing a hadith that was obtained by Abu Huraira. When the Prophet saw a Muslim sleeping on his stomach, the Prophet said, this is a way of sleeping which is displeased by Allah. The scholar and medical expert, Ibn al-Qayyim al-Jaziyah, said sleeping on his left side is also not good for health because it can harm the heart. Modern medical science proves that sleeping on your stomach is dangerous. Especially when sleeping soundly and for a long time, lying on your stomach automatically makes your chest muscles or respiratory muscles unable to develop your chest properly and maximally. So that the flow of oxygen becomes less and results in shortness of breath. Sleeping on the left side of the body is also dangerous. This is because the organs can squeeze the heart so that blood circulation is disrupted and reduces blood supply to the brain. A researcher from Australia, Dr. Zafir al Adder, stated that there was a threefold increase in children's mortality when they slept on their stomach compared to when they slept on their side. Sleeping on your stomach for a certain period of time will make it difficult for your stomach to breathe because all of your weight is pressing against your chest. Five, do not sleep on your back. The Prophet Muhammad saw also forbade his followers to sleep on their backs for a long time. After being studied in the media, it turns out that sleeping in this position presses or stifles the spine, and sometimes even causes us to want to go to the toilet. In addition, according to research by Dr. Zafar al Adder, a person sleeping on his back will cause a person to breathe through his mouth. Even though humans should breathe through the nose, not the mouth. This is because on the nose there are fine hairs and mucus that can filter out the dirt that is sucked along with the air we breathe. Breathing through the mouth is one of the reasons a person is prone to flu. In addition, breathing through the mouth will dry out the oral cavity so that it can cause inflammation of the gums. 6. Put your right hand under your right cheek. It turned out that the Prophet preferred to sleep on a mat made of animal skin filled with coir. The position of his body when sleeping facing to the right and never on his stomach. The head is padded as a pillow. But sometimes using one of his hands that is placed under his cheek, as reported by the page, Friday. Sleeping with this pillow looks very simple but has good benefits for health, namely improving posture, because the position of the head, neck, and back is in a straight line. This method can also prevent neck pain due to the wrong sleeping position. 7. Sleep early after Isha prayer. Aisha R.A. said, he slept at the beginning of the night and woke up at the end of the night and offered prayers. Our master Muhammad did not recommend sleeping late or staying up late. The Prophet Muhammad recommended that Muslims sleep as soon as possible after Isha if there are no other matters. If examined from a health perspective, the night is the excretion of the liver in neutralizing toxins, so it needs a calm stay. However, if we stay up late, this secretion does not run smoothly as it should. So that in a long period of time it can cause liver cancer. 
by following the sleeping pattern of Rasul Allah, hopefully, we will get quality sleep and a quality life too.